Hi, this is Brett from WP Theme Speed, and today I want to go over what it's like to do a backup with WP Engine. What it means to do the backup. Creating the backups easy, working in staging sites easy, but what happens when you want to come back uh, from that staging work that you've done and pull that into production? For example, I have a, a sample website here set up and running. It's at uh, wpe.wpthemespeed. We use the site oftentimes for doing speed tests. But today we want to do a backup. So I'm going to go into my admin area and I'm going to back it up into staging. So we come in through the WP Engine uh, menu and simply hit the staging tab. And then we can copy our live site to staging. I'll double check to make sure you want to do that. I'm going to hit go ahead and do it. And this will take uh, just a little bit to run in the background. I'll pause the video and come back after this is built, and then we'll talk about what actually happens when you bring that site into staging and what happens when later you want to take a site from staging into production. Okay, so our staging website is built. It's built at wpthemespeed.staging.wpengine. I'm going to open that site into a new tab, and we'll check it. You'll notice there's the, the new URL and it looks very similar uh, to the uh, live site, the production site. And here are the questions that I want to answer in this demonstration. If we make changes to a staging website on WP Engine and later take them live, what changes actually go through? So for example, if we make a change to the theme working in the code, will that migrate over then to the live site? Another question, if we make a change in a widget setting, will that migrate over to the live site? If we add content, if we create a new page or a new blog post, will that migrate over to the live site? So, for example, the code seems relatively obvious. If we change the theme, uh, things in the WP content folder, will those copy into production? But what about settings for widgets. That would be something, information held within the WordPress database. Will that also update into the live database? And what about content? This question initially came to me when I was working on a site. Uh, we had moved some things into staging and started to work on it. We added a couple pages. We changed the theme. We customized the theme. We added a number of widgets. And then we looked at moving it back, to, uh, taking that staging uh, work and moving it into our live production. But on the live site, we had continued blogging. We'd written a number of new blog articles on that new site. It did, the live site didn't sit still while we were working in staging. So the question happens, or the question comes up, what happens when you merge the change, changes that you've developed in the staging site with new things, new activity that's happened on the live site? So those are some things we're going to take a look at in this example. So we have our new staging site set up. First thing that we want to do is to log in. The WordPress login information should be the same as the information uh, that works on your live site. I'm going to pause this to protect my password for just a second, and then we'll pick you up on the other side of the pause. OK, so now we are logged in within our staging website. And we want to do some of these tests. So this is the staging site. You can see staging right there in the URL. So we want to do a couple different things. Uh, we want to make some customizations to the theme. We want to change some settings in our widgets. And we want to add some content on the staging site. On the live site, we also want to add a new blog article and see if the new blog article gets wiped out when we pull the staging back into live. So. Let's get started with some of those changes. Now I'm going to make a relatively simple change. I'm going to go into the WordPress editor. This is not normally a place I would uh, regularly work. But uh, I'm going to go in simply to the style sheet. And I'm going to uh, go up towards the table of contents and, and write uh, in a, just a little note from the staging site. And, uh, just so that we know when uh, we, after we pull this information back in, after we update from staging to live, we'll be able to see if our theme was actually changed, if our theme files were actually changed. This won't affect anything on this particular site. So I'm going to update the file. 
Normally I'd work in an HTML editor. I happen to prefer Dreamweaver, um, but I wouldn't normally make these changes here. This is just to keep the video somewhat simple. So we've changed our theme files, and we next want to take a look at our widgets. I want to see what happens when I change some widgets around. And this particular theme, this is the Epic theme from Studio Press, uh, has a lot of widgets. So I'm going to come into the welcome area where we have some information. And just to show you what this uh, area on the site looks like, I'll open it up so that you can see where that widget is. The welcome, we have a slider, and below that we have uh, these three elements right here, a cloud, a clock, and some people icons. The welcome one is this item on the left. The welcome two is the items in the middle. The welcome three sidebar is right there. So I'm going to add something here to this welcome area. I'm just going to add a text widget. And we'll just give it a title. I'll hit save. Refresh my page to make sure it shows up. And we can see uh, that this has adjusted just a bit. So this won't be in our on our live site. We can even take a look at the live site. I'll refresh the page. Uh, the changes that we made on our live site, they're not there. We haven't actually uh, done anything to move our changes from staging over to live. So definitely two different sites from our perspective at this point in time. So we've changed the theme files. We've changed a widget. Next, I want to add some contents. I'm going to add a new page in this case. And just to make it easy to find it, I'm going to add this page somewhere up here in my menu system. So that's going to be yet another change. Uh, that we're going to be testing. So I'm going to go to Appearance, go to Menus. There's our test page that we just added. We need to uh, pick the right menu system. I believe this is the one. So I'm going to check that again. I'll add it to the menu. This is going on our primary menu. There's the new button there. I'm going to shorten that just a, a little bit because it'll be kind of long. Let's we'll call it from staging. We'll save our menu system, refresh our page on our staging site, and we can see our from staging page now shows up. Okay, so we've added content, we've changed the theme file, uh, we've changed settings in both the menu and the widgets area. Now on our live site, I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new blog article as if we continued posting. Maybe some time had gone by, a month or two, or what have you. And we're just going to add a, another blog article to this site. And again, we'll put in some, some sample text. Drop it in a category, and I'm going to hit Publish. We'll come to our live site now, refresh the page, and we won't see any of those changes here. The blog articles don't show up on this particular site. I think we might see them in our, aha, yeah, we'll see them in our portfolio. I didn't add, actually add a featured image, but here's our blog article that we just wrote. So there's our blog article. So now, time for the big question. What happens when we move this staging site back into our live site. So, you know, the premise here is that we've done some changes to our staging site and we want to update our live site to look like the staging site. But things happened on our live site while we were gone. So what happens? Well, right now I'm in the staging site. We can't get back to that staging toggle where we would do any work here through this particular section of WP Engine. We have to go back into our admin panel for our live site and go to the WP Engine uh, menu there and click WP Engine. Now at this Okay, so let's take a look at pulling that stuff in from the staging area. So we've gone into WP Engine. I'm going to click the Staging tab. And again, we are working in our live site now. 
So before, when we did this, we hit the copy our live site, copy site, from live to staging. Now we've made these changes on our staging site and we want to copy those from staging to live. So we're gonna hit this dark gray, almost black button here. And then we'll be able to evaluate what's happened. Uh, and now we get to have the option of move no tables, move all tables, or select tables to move. So some good options there. Let's think about those for just a second. If we move no tables, what we're essentially moving is just our theme changes uh, on this particular site. So let's try these one at a time. We'll move no tables. So this should just, in theory, just move the changes that we've made to our theme. And we can see these changes being pushed over as it begins to deploy. I'm gonna let that run for just a second and hit pause again and come back in just shortly. So our pop-ups have gone. Let's take a look at our live site real quick now. This is the theme speed site. We want the WP. We're going to refresh this page. This, this is our live site. I'm getting confused there myself just for a second. Our portfolio page is still there. Our blog article is still there. Our home page is the same. As you may recall, the changes that we made on our staging site involved creating a new page from staging. And we can see on our original site, we don't have that new page. We didn't copy over any tables. We didn't copy over the tables that had that additional page listed in there. So they're not there. But what about the changes to our theme file? We made that little change in our CSS file of our theme. So let's go into our editor. This is on the live site. And as we scroll down, we can see the line has been added. So changes did come across from our staging site, uh, the changes that we made in our theme. And we can see here too, there's a deployment was recently completed for the site. If you need to revert to previous state, you can do so through the user portal. Backups are saved uh, for sites on a daily basis. Let's take a look at what our backup options are post this deployment. So I'm going to log into my site to my account and once I'm here I'm going to go to the overview on this particular item and I want to look at my backup points here in the WP Engine menu. So we see that there was a daily checkup run at uh, 7.22 a.m. and right before deploying from staging there was another backup done in the process when I hit that button. So another good thing to know when you make these changes they're making a backup for you. Close that tab and come back into my live site. Let's take a look at deploying some of those other changes. So let's Come back in, we'll go to our WP Engine menu item, click on WP Engine, the submenu item, and we'll click on the Staging tab again, and we'll copy site from Staging to Live yet again. Now, we could move all the tables and see what happens, but I would like to attempt to select the tables to move and just see what we get. Now, WP Options is one of those tables. So they see the changes in our menu and in our uh, in our widgets. Now if you think about it, if we make the move for the menu but we don't actually move the tables that have that page that we added, we're gonna have a broken menu option. But let's give this a try anyway and just see how this works. We had that text widget that uh, we added to our widgets and we had a menu item change. So that's those are the main things I'm expecting to show up over here. I'm not expecting to see the actual page that we created on our staging site show up. Uh, on the flip side, our blog article should still be here.
as we scroll down, we do see the widget change, but we do not see the menu change because we didn't pull in the content. Let's So, as you may recall, we had this extra page over here, and that's not there because the page itself was brought in. All that came in were the changes from the WP Options table. So, oh, and let's also double check, make sure that our blog article is still present. So, there's our blog article. It's still present on the live site, so we didn't lose our blog article. Now let's see what happens when we do that big change and we move all tables. So what's going to happen to our blog article is the big question here. So we're making this change and that's going to move, that sends me this new item saying you'll receive an email once it has been processed. So I'm going to hit pause and we'll come back and check it once I get the notification. Okay, so I'm back. I never actually received an email. Uh, my email does work, but the emails never came in. But when I go and refresh the page uh, on our live site, you can see that we now have this new from staging uh, button in our menu system and our blog article is gone. It didn't merge. I'm not even, uh, uh, that's not one of the, that wasn't one of the options that we even had. So our new tables came in and wiped out the old tables and that included the content. So the page that we added replaced the site where we had the blog article that we, you know, the, the page added on the staging site replaced the tables that had our blog article on the live site. So there you have it. Those are some pitfalls to be aware of. Um, there's definitely some good options in there, some things that can make it uh, very useful for doing some migrations, but you'll definitely want to be careful not to wipe out content when you're making one of those moves. I hope this video helps. Helps sometimes just to see it. This is one of those things where you could talk to a tech support person and they could explain these things, but sometimes it helps just to see how the thing actually works. Thank you again, and check out wpthemespeed.com for more information on how to speed up your themes with the right hosting company.